Kaidilyu was born on January 26, 1915 in today's Taminglong a district of Manipur. Manipur is a small state and Taminglong is a district which is dominated inhabited by Naga tribes. Entire Manipur has got many tribes besides the Maitis who are inhabiting in these hills from centuries. Rani Gadliu was the Naga spiritual and the political leader who led an armed uprising against British in Manipur, Nagaland and Assam. Rani belonged to, a, to the Rongmai tribe. Rongmai tribe is also known as Konibu tribes, Kabui tribe. In 1927, at the, ten, at the tender age of 13, Garilu, along with her cousin, joined Hiraka movement. The aim of the Hiraka movement is to fight the uh, fight for the revival of the Naga tribal religion and established a self-rule of the Nagas. They called it Naga Raj. And with ultimate aim of ending the British rule, basically getting independence from the Britishers which have occupied these areas. And they have imposed many restrictive laws. Because of her activities, she was arrested in 1932 when she was just 16. British held their court declared her a rebel although she was a revolutionary a freedom fighter and she was sentenced to life imprisonment by the uh, British court and the British rulers between 1932 and 1947 the Naga freedom fighter was kept in several prisons across the Northeast they kept her moving from one jail to another in all these states of Manipur, Nagaland and Assam. After being released in 1947 after independence when the British left this country, she continued to work for the betterment of the tribals, community of the uh, Nagaland and Manipur. Pandit Nehru called her the daughter of the hills and it was Pandit Nehru who gave her the title of Rani after her exceptional courage and conviction she was also awarded a Padma Bhushan the Assam state government developed a beautiful park along uh, with a statue in the center to honor the late freedom fighter in Silcha, uh, this is actually in the Jiribam Silcha Road, which joins the Manipur and Assam state. The government of India also issued a postal stamp in her honor in 1996, and also a commemorative coin in 2015. She was among the one of those leading ladies of freedom fighters, that too from a very remote area of, uh, of the country from a tribal society to fight against the British and participate in the first war of independence. She was also awarded Vivekananda Seva Award in 1983 for all her social activities and all her uh, development activities for the community of the northeastern states. She was also awarded a Tamra Patra Freedom Fighter in 1972. All her life, Rani Garilu worked for the welfare of the tribal society in that area, worked for bringing education and development, and ultimately, she fought the first freedom fight uh, uh, war against the British. 
having spent all her life in the social service and the service of the her people she stayed all through in manipur only she breathed her last on 17 february 1993 in manipur thank you very much